this is orchestra. It's a pretty intricate setup. But you can see how they're all, you know, the string section, notice the low strings are on the right of the conductor and the high strings are on the left of the conductor and they must be set up like that all the time. If you're going to record an orchestra that's used to be in an orchestra, let's say the community orchestra or the orchestra here on Wednesday night, this is the way they have to set up. They're not accustomed to being out of their place where they are in the orchestra. But now you go to the next page. This is a setup that you could do with people that were used to being in studios. They're used to playing their part and letting the engineer deal with it. Maybe they'll have headsets on. Maybe just the lead uh, player in that section will have headsets. This could be like a sweetening session for a vocal. There could be a vocalist in the isolation booth someplace here singing along with this orchestra and getting the uh, orchestra on tape and then they'll come back and redo the vocal. The way you set up, you've got to know what kind of an orchestra is this going to be. Generally, we place baffles. What the baffle is really for is to protect the microphone. If you're here playing the trumpet, my baffle would be about, if they're about this high. The ear is above the baffle, but the microphone would be down below the baffle. So now the sound over here is going to go over the top of the baffle, and it's not going to be readily picked up there. And this sound over here is going to go over the top, and it's not going to be picked up. And that's what we do. We're trying to protect the microphone from the leaking sound. All right, so you can see the difference between the same instrumentation. There are different people, and for a different reason could be a pop date. You could be a funk thing happening with strings behind it. You don't know. And you're not going to get the average string player that plays in the community orchestra to play on a pop date with funk string lines because it's not the nature of what they're accustomed to. Classical music is a lot different than those rhythms and they end up playing them stiff. Very cha-cha. You know, instead of da 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 no. So consequently, the string players that do sessions, they have a different feel. They have a different way to perform on their instrument. They know that the string is a slow speaking instrument, so it's always behind the beat. They know that because if you're behind a beat, you don't come next time. I'm sorry, because there's only 50 people waiting to sit in your chair because it's great money. So they learn to play in the contemporary style. Not only do you set them up differently, but you'll get a different performance. That's why you want to set them up right.